back. I am painting at night again with everybody in bed so that I can do this without music because there's no noise in the background, which is lovely. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm hoping you can. Um, I mixed Payne's Gray with Silver. And the combination is just, oh, I'm in love. Found my new favorite color for right now. Um, it is so pretty. And it's like a midnight blue. Whoops, I'm dripping. A midnight blue um, metallic. It's just really, really pretty. So I have that. I have this teal, some uh, metallic pink, and some metallic orange. I'm not sure what the colors are, but they're from the Arteza Metallic um, set. So I'm going to be using a, I should have looked this up, Quaffle, Quaffer, which one's from Harry Potter? This is the one that's not from Harry Potter, Quaffle, Quaffer. I always think I know I'm right and I think that I'm always wrong. I don't know why I can't keep the two separate, but <laughs> it's a problem. So I'm going to be using this, let me get my canvas out of the way actually while I film this. So, let's zoom in, just for fun. Okay. So this fun little cup here. I'm hoping this will be kind of almost like a midnight garden. That's the thought in my head. I've got some of this midnight blue. Some pink. Everything has Floetrol and I think the pink and the orange have silicone. I know the teal has silicone um, and the blue. Not positive about the pink and the orange, I am guessing. This looks like orange sherbet to me. Actually, the pink looks like raspberry sherbet. I thought about doing a summer pour with the pink, the orange, and some lime green. Like lime sherbet pour night. This is mostly going to be this dark blue. I'm hoping these other colors um, show up pretty well, though. We shall see. See, doesn't that look like raspberry sherbet? I think it does. Some good raspberry sherbet. Orange sherbet, lime sherbet. You guys have sherbet. Punch is that a Midwest thing from Ohio? We always had um, lime sherbet punch. So curious if where you guys are, if you make punch out of lime sherbet. I've also had Kool Aid um, punch. That's my favorite. Do people do punch anymore? I haven't had punch in ages. Maybe I'm aging myself. <laughs> that could be. Okay, so canvas. Oh, we need to zoom back out. Or you won't be able to see anything. There we go. Okay. So, cup, canvas. Bloop. I love the noise these little cups make. If you use them, I'll link to them in the description bar. Um, but when the paint comes out, they go glug, 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 and it's kind of fun. One almost came out like a swirl. I haven't had one do that before. It's like it got caught in this little neck thingy. That was kind of interesting. Okay, look at that side. Isn't that pretty? Oof. Okay, I'm gonna put that upside down. I found the best way to clean those is to put them upside down and then before they're completely dry, but most of the paint is gone, rinse them out. That way not much is going down the drain. You can reuse them. Otherwise, you can't really reuse them because you can't really peel the paint off. Okay. We do not have my um, cardboard. Alright, so I ran to get some cardboard and it kind of spread out on its own a little bit there. Okay. Let's go this way. A lot of teal coming out. Mm. 
careful, careful. I'm gonna mess up the sides. Not as much of that of that blue as I thought, because I put so much of that in there. The light colors or that teal is really taking over. I'm gonna be covered in paint. Usually I'm a little bit more coordinated at my tilting than what my problem is tonight. And this is pretty zigzaggy. But you know what? It's kind of cool. I don't usually do the zigzaggy, but I'm kind of digging it. In fact, I think I'm going to take some of this pink where this it's already on there you can see that little thing kind of just jiggle kind of like that you know what I'm going to do a single over here just a little bit I think should we do some orange why not Let's follow this little vein right here. Careful, careful. Mm. This little spot, just for fun. Now, let's see. Let's do... It's not like totally like I just poured over it. I mean, that's what I did, but you know, you don't want it to look like I just totally poured over it. I want it to look like part of the painting. There you go, and I'm going to leave it like that. It's kind of fun. And um, everything but that teal is metallic, so. It's going to get really shiny and nice. Alright, let's do some close up see if I can get some of that sparkle to show up. Okay, let's see. 